As a human on Earth, aren't you even a little bit eager to know what appearance the universe dons while sitting light years away from other galaxies? Wouldn't it just be incredible to see up close what makes the universe so unbelievably breathtaking? To be able to see clearly what that twinkling light is that we are admiring in the night sky. Or to just be aware of the fact whether or not we are alone in this universe. The list of wonders surrounding the universe is endless. While it wouldn't be possible for us to fly into the void of space, science has made things easier for us. The invention of the James Webb Space Telescope is an ambitious scientific endeavor to quench this thirst. Since its launch in 2021, the telescope has collected a plethora of images, uncovering captivatingly charismatic panoramas of the universe. So let's take a journey into Webb's enchanting space marvels. The James Webb Space Telescope is built on the legacy of previous space-based telescopes, with the sole aim to push the boundaries of human knowledge. To educate and make people aware of the formation of the galaxies, stars and other worlds. This space telescope is designed to conduct infrared, astronomy and view objects that are too old or distant, study the formation of galaxies and stars, and explore the free-floating planets in the universe. In its first expedition, the telescope was stationed on a solar orbit near the Sun-Earth Lagrange point, about 930,000 miles from Earth. So here are a set of captivating images of the universe initially captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. First up we have, SMAX 0723. The first image released by Webb was a deep field photograph capturing SMAX 0723, a galaxy cluster in Volans constellation. The images show thousands of galaxies, with some as old as 13 billion years, almost as old as the universe itself. This is the highest resolution image of the early universe ever taken. Then we have the Carina Nebula. Amidst the blanket of dust and gas in this cosmic cliff are hidden baby stars. This cloud space comprises star fields appearing in scattered dotted patterns showing innumerable stars of various sizes. The cloud-like structure of the nebula contains ridges, peaks and valleys, an appearance very similar to a mountain range. Three long diffraction spikes from the top right edge of the image suggest the presence of a large star just out of view. Another angle of Carina nebula showing clouds of gas and dust in pink-brownish hues, besides the twinkling of young stars. Behind the clouds, the navy blue sky is bustling with shining stars and galaxies. Next there is the Planetary Nebula. Shaped like an irregular oval, with lacy, reddish-orange plumes of gas and dust, the insides of this planetary nebula containing gas and dust emit a bright blue glow. This is basically a dying star that is giving out gas and dust, captured intently by Webb. Look closer and you will see a glowing white ring separating the red and blue gases. In the center of the rings are two stars, one glowing much brighter than the other, with diffraction spikes radiating out from it. In further stages of the dying star, this oval-shaped nebula is glowing because of the bright blue gas it is radiating. A closer look will show you two separate ovals of reddish-pink gas appear stacked on top of each other, inside the lacy blue gas clouds. In the center of the nebula, two stars glow close to each other. One star looks more red, while the other appears more yellow. Now take a look at the Southern Ring Nebula. These are two stars within a misshapen oval southern nebula that is slightly angled from the top left to the bottom right. On the left, 
you will notice two stars almost overlapping at the center. The top left star appears white and the bottom right appears red. A large almost solid white oval surrounds the central stars. At right, the image shows one prominent star at the center. A large translucent pink and red irregular oval surrounds it. Let's proceed to Stefan's Quintet. This is a group of five galaxies appearing to be closer to each other. Two galaxies are in the middle, one towards the top, one to the upper left, and one toward the bottom. Four galaxies out of the five appear to be touching, while one remains somewhat separated. Though different in size, shape, and structure, all five galaxies have a bright white core. There is another Stefan's Quintet, with three visible spiral galaxies, with tendrils extending out from their glowing centers. The galaxy farthest to the left has vibrant blue lacing surrounding the oval-shaped light of the galaxy. Spend a moment staring into the picture and you'll find the galaxies placed against a field of sparkling stars and other, farther galaxies. Lastly, the galactic field. This extragalactic field comprises hundreds of galaxies differing in shapes, colors, and sizes. While most of the galaxies are small, only a handful are comparatively larger. Upon closer look, you will find a few stars scattered and some with eight-point diffraction spikes, while others have additional spikes due to a combination of image exposures. It is a mesmerizing field of glistering stars up there, way beyond the universe we reside in. What was impossible for the naked eyes to spot has been made possible with science. Does this mean that in the near future, we will be able to spot planets harboring alien civilizations and much larger twinkling galaxies? Stay tuned for part two of the galactic world captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, as we bring to you more magnificent pictures of our universe. If you found this video intriguing, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to Edge of the Universe. Hit the bell icon to stay updated as we unravel many more mysteries.